What's going on guys? It's your boy the Mr. Fox back again with another video and like I said this is my full review slash breakdown slash hype moment whatever you want to call it. I just got done seeing My Hero Academia 2 Heroes for the second time. I went first time with my beautiful fiance, the second time with my dope cousin and both times were amazing. But enough with that let's get into this video but we're gonna show a quick intro first so cue intro <laughs> what's up guys hope you enjoyed that or not whatever i don't care but let's get into this movie like straight up straight off from the jump this movie is pure hype we it, it, it cuts straight it gets straight to business it shows us all might when he is young his eyes are not sunken in you can see him clear as day they're blue as the as the morning as not, ooh, as morning sky they are as blue as the sky in the middle of the day with no clouds and he and he has on uh the the blazer with the with the soccer with a soccer pedantry and plus ultra on the back i expect to see that fully made in real life and i probably will be buying one to be perfectly honest because it was dope i want to see it in a real life and i want to see someone rocking it preferably me so shut up make it and take my money <laughs> but no yeah it cuts like you know the movie begins straight up with a villain attack some dude and his uh lackey break break into a bank in california in california usa and first off the villains i mean we don't know their names i mean there's really nothing important but it looks like the the main guy in charge his his uh quirk is that he can turn his arms into missile launchers and launch uh, missiles. I, it looked like he can launch multiple. He can at least launch two at the same time, but I think he can launch more or whatever. And his friend, it was just pretty much like a, a beef of quirk. Like, you know, he just beefs himself up and he gets like multiple arms. He gets like four extra arms and stuff. He gets really big. They stole like 10 mil, which I'm like, that's a huge chunk of change. <laughs> but, you know, all, all Mike comes in in all his glory and he just wrecks them and we and but like and to finish it off like you know after all you know after you chase him around the city for a bit to finish him off he he ends him with the same state that he's in he calls it uh california smash and you know all of all my attacks are based off of states in the uh in in the states like in united states we had united states smash detroit smash carolina smash uh Texas smash all his attacks are smashes Yeah, they are but man I Cannot tell you guys like for real like I I was like a kid in a candy store It's been a minute since a sh uh, Like an anime has just gotten me like this hype. I was happy I was re I saw it a second time tonight and I'm still I was still watching it Like it's the first time that I saw it or it's the first time I ever seen this show In general man, it, it was awesome and like all my just like and like I'm skipping I'm gonna be jumping around a bit but like there's like towards the end oh my goodness the, the animation is just so so beautiful and so crisp studio bones is just amazing shouts out to them shouts out to Funimation shouts out to Horikoshi sensei oh my goodness and then uh, like pretty much like the whole class was there like you know like I said I'm gonna be skipping jumping back and forth just whatever's running through my mind but the whole class was there, but their reasonings behind being there made sense instead of just, oh, we all just decided to come. No, it was like, Yayorozu, Ochako, and Jiro were all there because, yeah, you're all, you, you know, as we know, uh, Momo is from a prestigious family. Her, her father has shares in iExpo. Uh, that's why they're there. It's an, expo it's an exposition to show off all the new support gadgets and stuff for, uh, for the heroes and stuff. And her father is a shareholder, so she had some plus ones, and she made and she made all the girls Rochambeau for it, and Ochako and Jiro won. But all the other girls were still there, but they just couldn't come to the um, they couldn't come yeah, as you know to the to the uh, preview. And uh, let's see, we saw Kaminari and Mineta, the two perverts of the class. They were there, uh, pretty much working to earn their keep and be there. Uh, I think uh, Ida no, 
Ida, Ida's family goes like every year because his family is also well known, but he was the only one that could make it that year. Same thing with Todoroki. Todoroki was there on behalf of his father. Uh, Bakugo and uh, Kirishima were there. Bakugo got invited and Kirishima pretty much just tagged along. I, I was surprised they were just cool with that. They were like, okay, sure, whatever. Midoriya was there with All Might. Obviously, it was the, the, the main staple of the movie. Him and All Might came there. And All Might invited him. Uh, actually, we didn't... We didn't figure out what uh, how how Shoji, uh, uh, Tokoyami, uh, Sa- Sato, and uh, oh, I can't I can't remember how they got there. They were just there, like like the whole class was there, but not everyone got to do something. Like like uh, oh my goodness, Suyu they they left Suyu, uh, Mina uh, Mina Ashido and. Uh, the Invisible Girl, I cannot think of her name, but they were there, but they were just like for a cameo. Same thing with Sato and them, just a quick cameo, Tokiyami and all them. They were there in the city, they just didn't, they didn't get to do nothing, which is a shame. I wish I would, I wish, I wish I would have seen more Suyu and Tokoyami. That would have been dope. And Shoji, Shoji is dope too. But you know, uh, the, the problem kicks in with these these villains. They infiltrate into the I Island to you know to pretty much uh act like okay let me okay i'm rambling i'm I'm thinking of so many things to say at the same at the same time it's not it's just not coming out so pretty much dave all my best friend from back in the day when he was in the states as a foreign exchange student he made a device that is able to amplify anyone's quirk without doing harm to them this obviously the university saw this was like this is gonna be a problem shut that you know shut it down they confiscated it and made him stop. He's upset. So he sets up this whole... Well, no. It made it seem like he set it up. But it's pretty much his assistant's fault. No, it's pretty much his assistant's fault. His assistant was like, uh, y'all not taking this. I need a... He's like, I need a raise. He, I, I need that mula. I need that, need that guap. So he comes up with the bright idea. Convinces the professor that it's his idea. That they should hire some fake villains. And steal the... Uh, steal the uh, research and stuff back. Obviously, the fake villains were real villains. Obviously. And they're going to take it and mass market it, which I don't know why you would. I think I would just keep it for myself and just, you know, just run it. But, you know, whatever. And it is up to our young heroes. Uh, the, the the main people that you will see is Izuku, Bakugo, Todoroki, Ida, the big, you know, obviously the big three, Ochako. I was, surpri- I was surprised Jiro. Like, out of all the rest of the girls, especially out of Suyu, because Suyu is, like, a fan favorite. Like, she has, like, almost a cult following, if not already. So, I was kind of shocked, but since it's Momo, the one that had the tickets, it makes perfect sense. Now that I'm thinking about it, because her and Momo are best friends, pretty much. And, you know, it was, like I said, so it was Ochako, Momo, Jiro, Kaminari, uh, Mineta, Ida... And then also they, uh, all my best friend's daughter, Melissa. If you watch the trailers and you're watching this, we know she's quirkless, but she's she's a genius like her father. She gives Deku the all the full gauntlet, which I know it wasn't gonna last because obviously this story is set before the training camp arc. But a part of it was like, can you please keep that full gauntlet? Because Deku, Deku goes ham. They didn't, they didn't waste any time with him. They didn't, they didn't like sit him off to the sidelines doing like stupid stuff. Like you no, know, he was in there fighting, and he still took on like the main bad guy. He didn't win. He didn't win. He he, he gave it a, a heck of a shot. And the, just like the animation in this movie, I gotta say it once again it was just gorgeous, and. Yeah. It's just like Studio Bones. They did. They just. They do good work. I mean, I'm. You know, every. I'm. I'm not trying to badmouth Studio Bones or this movie. Obviously, you know, they have. They have faults with like other series and stuff. But I mean, this just just this movie in general. You could tell they put just as much of love and care into this movie that they do with the, you know, with the with each episode that drops. Oh man, I just realized like this weekend's the last episode. But luckily season four was announced, but we don't have an air date, but whatever. 
but but let's get into like let's get into like the the best part the best part for me is the ending i'm pretty sure anyone's gonna say that. like the ending not the ending but like just like towards the end when all my ass izuku like can you know can you can i ask for your services young midoriya and they just go in my dudes are skating like it ain't nothing. There's like a scene where it shows like Deku like running and it slows it down. You just see him coming at the camera, dodging all these pillars of metal and stuff. Cause you know the main dudes, the main dudes Magneto. Let's let's be real, Magneto. He his quirk is to manipulate metal. Magneto, I'm not the only one. Yeah. So, but Izuku's just running and it slows down and then it just speeds up. He's going, going. And then, it, you know, All Might's doing the same thing. He's running, going, going. And this man, let me, let's talk about All Might. This man, first off, shouts out to his voice actor. I, I cannot remember his name right now, but his voice actor is on point with the laughs and everything. <laughs> and then towards the end when Deku and All Might team up and do a double Detroit smash. This man is posing. I'm talking like full <clears throat> flying through the air. Who does that? Who does that? All Might. That's who. He poses and they proceed to lay waste to this dude's face and it is just pure and utter glory. As you can tell, that's where probably the majority of the movie's budget went. Was that scene between Izuku and All Might just going ham, skating, dodging, all that. You see them flying through the air. But, you know, also, he's they're getting assistance from Todoroki and Bakugo. The, 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 let me, let's talk about their fight scene for a quick moment. Todoroki and Bakugo's fight scenes, they were not very long, but the scenes that we got were amazing and flawless. And just like how it ended with like, you know, the one dude like swiping at Bakugo and he gets some of his uh, sweat on him. And then you just see uh, Todoroki's fa uh, like just light bulb go like click, like I'm gonna burn him. It's like, what's this on my hand? Dude's like, what's this on my hand? He's like, it's my sweat. It's like nitroglycerin. It explodes and Todoroki's like, oh, cool. Burn him. And just boom, dude gets blasted. And then Bakugo does that sick that move he used against Todoroki in the uh in the sports festival. And that's <sighs> Bakugo, you can I cannot deny. He's not he's not my most favorite character due to his personality, but I've I've gotten over it in the last episode. That drew, not the last but the episode before last, you know, that aired. It got some light on his character, but th I, the man has skills. That he, battle prowess should be slapped on this man's forehead because he he is phenomenal when it comes to combat and just on the, and you know off the cuff moves. He took dude out. The, you know, and, <laughs> and then there's a scene in there. This is the, the, like I said, I'm jumping around. So like while they're fighting, everyone else is running. They get up to like uh, I think it's the laboratory or whatever, and they come up with, and all the little drones come out and Kaminari. They send Kaminari in. First off, Ida throws this man like a <laughs> like a dart and chucks him, and then you know Kaminari tries to use his uh indiscriminate shock. Uh, it's hilarious. Just like he kicks up the two uh two million volts. And then, you know, just, uh, he just goes dumb. He's pretty much, like, after that scene, he's pretty much dumb. He go, he's dumb for, like, the rest of the movie until, like, after Izuku and All Might have beaten the main villain. That's when he kind of snaps back out of him. He's like, oh, what, you know, like, what's going on? Because you can see it on his face. Like, he's like, what's going on? What happened? What I miss? And then, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm jumping all over the place. I can't. I'm just, I'm just so happy. Like, like if you ask me, like, this movie is, like, I'm going to say it. 10 out of 10. I don't care what the critics say. This movie was dope. It was amazing. Everything about My Hero Academia was in this movie. They didn't slack on a single thing, if you ask me. And that's why I had to go twice. I had to. Got to show love. Because I want to see more movies like this in theaters. I want to see more animated movies. So, if y'all haven't seen it, I'm saying this early. Go see it. If you made it to this point in the video and you haven't seen it, go. I want you to stop right now, go to the closest theater to you that has it, and go 
watch it. And then go find someone else that hasn't seen it and take them to go see it. Because we got to sell out these tickets. I went I went two times and both times uh, the full house. Packed. I wish I'd have got a picture and I wish I would have been able to like live. Not live stream, but record the crowd's reaction. Because that's what made it so much better. Like... Normally, when you go to movies, it's quiet and stuff, but no. Like, in here, everybody's reacting. It been like it would have been the dopest live reaction, like, ever. But, obviously, I can't do that for copyright reasons, and I don't want to get in trouble with my channel. But, you know, it is what it is. But, yeah, man. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm rambling. I'm, I'm going to keep going. I'm going to keep going, though. I'm going to get all this out. Now, there's a scene in there with... Actually, there's a couple of scenes with Mineta... And Kaminari, but mostly when, mostly Mineta, because you know Mineta's just the just the the crowning achievement of a pervert for the class, and he didn't do much. He he was mostly comic relief, like he usually is. You know, he says crazy stuff. But they ha they're trying to get up to the uh, to this place so he can uh, lower the ladder down, and then you know they're trying to convince him. You know, Mineta's a coward. I mean. Not all the time, but he has his moments. But the majority of the time, he's like, I, I, I don't want to do it. Because he was against the whole plan of helping out in the first place, obviously. He's like, now nah, let the pros handle it. And he said, since the pros can't even handle it, what are we going to do? You know, we ain't nothing but a bunch of meddling kids. Yes, Scooby-Doo reference. I did that. Anyway, my dude, <laughs> Manetta... They they encourage they 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 exploit my man's weakness, which is a women which is women. He wants a harem. That's not new in anime, not at all. But <laughs> the scene where he's you know using his quirk to get up there, like you and you know if he use if he plucks too many of his balls off, he get his head will start to bleed and it looks like he gets like severely tired. Cause like he was going up the wall and he'd be like, harem, 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 uh, harem, 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 harem. And then he gets up and when he finally lets it up and everyone gets there, he's like, come on ladies, give your boy a smooching. <laughs> and like the whole crowd in the movie theater was just dying, dog. It was hilarious, man. I cannot praise this movie enough. I don't care. Call me. If I am a fanboy. Look at me. I wore this. Like. And it was dope, man. Like, a lot of people... I wasn't the only one that cosplayed. I saw someone cosplay... The first time I saw someone as Aizawa. You know, I saw someone dressed up as uh, Izuku from the... Uh, from the from the hideout uh, raid arc when they dressed up and uh, tried to be incognitous. You know, I saw someone as, G as Jiro tonight. I saw Kirishima. I wanted to see a Kaminari. I was hoping to see someone dressed as All Might. Because I'm trying to get trying to take this specific picture but i'm not gonna say it it's you'll know it when you see it and if i ever get the chance to take it trust me i'm gonna post it i'm gonna post it like asap but yeah man this movie was dope and like the ending like and also like even though we had a short time with you know david shield and melissa shield they managed to work. You got enough time with them to actually care about what happens. Like, there's a scene where like one of the main, one of the main villains, uh, lackeys, like cuts her, and you're like, oh my goodness. And but then Izuku just comes in and just, boom, he, he not he puts that man in the dirt, smooth. He's out cold. Ain't no coming back. I'm surprised the man's jaw wouldn't be broke if they would have cut to him at the end. But you know, and like. He, he, well, as you know, Melissa is quirkless, so you know automatically that get, if you've watched the series, that gives you like a automatic connection. Cause who was quirkless before? Deku, before All Might on all that. Deku had no quirk; he was just like her. And honestly, I'm kind of interested to see where would Deku have ended up had he never met All Might and received the power of a uh, one for all. You know, I'm pretty sure people have speculated on that before, but you know. Tell me what you think in the comments below, or you can write me on my Twitter or something. But so obviously, obviously, you know, there's a connection there because she's quirkless, and then you kind of and you felt for her father too because you know they him and All Might didn't grow up together. They went to school together, but you know they were very close. By the time All Might had to go back, had to go back to Japan and all that. So you know he was scared that if All Might disappears, you know, crime rate around the world is just gonna skyrocket which is 
technically not a, a false accusation there. I, I say accusation, but you know what I mean. So, I mean, and you fell for him. You, I felt bad for him. Like, he all, he made this device simply so he could help his his very dear friend who's losing his all his powers. And, you know, <laughs> I fell for him. I did. I felt bad for him. Obviously, he shouldn't have done it. There's better ways to go about it. Or you could have made something similar that's not as powerful. But, you know, plot and all that. And then we get a... We get a uh, Actually, it's a pretty lengthy cameo of all for one. Right before the villain that at the end goes, you know, goes to I Island, he gets a phone call from All for One, and you know, All for One's pretty much like, if you need help doing bad things, uh, I'm down to help. He's, I'm always down to make someone fall from grace, and just to see that look of despair on all might's face and you're just like dude this <laughs> like no matter what he is always involved somehow from shigaraki to this and you know it makes me a little bit sad that this i don't I, i'm not sure i'm not 100 percent sure on this so let me know if i'm incorrect or not but i'm pretty sure this movie is not canon i not obviously because i'm not i'm wondering but you know I'm pretty sure, like 95% sure that this movie's not canon. And a little part of me wish it kind of was. But, you know, then I don't know how that, how it would really just tie into the story like that. And why they wouldn't have brought it up. But, we get a quick cameo. And the thing is, like, this, the same reaction happened twice. People said it in the first time I saw it and this time when I saw it tonight. They were like, why is the all for one music playing? And, you know, and then it clicks. You're like, oh my goodness. It, initially you'll probably think this dude must work for him and he's like no he just found out he just made a quick he just made a phone call my thing is how did you know that this dude was about to pull out this job that's my question that's where the real genius comes in this man is this man got connects on connects on connects to even be able to find that out because that's a whole isolated event got nothing to do with japan that's all i think i don't even know where the island is it's probably in the middle of the ocean somewhere but it's probably somewhere close to the states to be real but I mean, dude, this movie is amazing. It's one of the, this is the best animated movie that I've seen in a while, and this is like my favorite movie for this year. And I've seen some good ones. I saw Black Panther, saw Infinity War, and I saw this. All three of those movies I've watched. Those are the only movies that I've ever gone to see in a movie theater back to back, where I paid my money to go see it again after I saw it. So I mean. But this one, I'm debating about going to see it a third time. I'm pretty sure I'm not. The second time was still good. The second time was still just as good. I think the third time I'll probably be a little bit, you know, burnt out of it. But, dude, the animations in here are flat, dead, gorgeous, amazing work. But it's to be expected from Studio Bones and from a movie. But. Uh, but still, it was just it was just a joy to see. I implore you, if you got kids, take your kids. If you got a wife or a spouse, that's the same thing. If you got a wife, a fiance, a girlfriend, uh, a side piece, go take them to see this movie. Go take them. And then go pick somebody else up and take them. And if they can't pay for it, you pay for it and you go see it again. Because the movie's that good. I, like I said, I sound like a fanboy because I am, and I'm not. I'm not going to stop singing this movie's praises. This movie was hands down, flat out amazing. Only thing, like I said, there are some flaws with it, but that's just like me really just nitpicking. I wish I would have seen more Suyu, uh, Mina, and all of them. I wish I, I wish they would have gave more backstory on the, on the main villain in this movie. Just a little bit, like who? At least what's his name? You didn't even get his name. It's just him like where did you that's his name you i mean he seemed like a dope villain to be real i mean he's probably i mean he seemed like one dimensional you know i'm gonna steal this i invention get rich of it and whatever but that's really my only like right with it other than that i mean dude i mean i can't say enough about this movie and this video is going on actually i don't know how, how long is it Oh, shh, this ain't nothing, dog. I, I, I thought, this is kind of short. I thought I'd go on longer. But, man, I know I've said it like a thousand times. 
ride with me on ride with me on it though so that's all i got to say on it man last time i said go see that movie go see that movie if you have made it to this part i don't know what's wrong with you if you haven't seen this movie go see that movie right now it's only in theaters for a week i'm hoping it does so well that they're like you know what forget it we're keeping it in there for a whole another week and you know what your boy's gonna do i'm gonna be right back in there dressed as your boy izuku midoriya green hair and all and hopefully i can get some green contacts but with that being said this is your boy mr fox black midoriya young young black midoriya signing out and remember kids to stay plus ultra